If you find it hard to walk upstairs or go for hikes or just walk up hills, then you need to build more leg strength. So in this video, I'm going to explain four exercises that'll help you build stronger legs that'll strengthen your legs so you're able to walk upstairs, walk up hills, and go for hikes without pain. By the end of this video, you're going to understand how to do these four exercises and why you should start them today. And I'm also gonna explain how to avoid getting hurt, how, how often to do these exercises so that you can get back to moving and grooving the way you know you should be able to. So let's get ready to think right, move right, and feel right. Let's jump right into these leg strengthening exercises, but please remember, before you start any exercise, that form is paramount. You must try to do these exercises well, do them with control so that you don't get hurt. If you find that you're doing a couple reps and then you just are too tired to do it right anymore, then do the smart thing and just stop. Take a rest. Don't be a dummy and hurt yourself because you're trying to impress absolutely nobody with your ability to get one more rep. The first exercise is step ups. Start with a small step or a box or even the sidewalk to start building your ability to step up onto higher surfaces. Leaning forward and keeping your weight forward in your feet will be more like hiking and walking upstairs. Make sure your knee is always under your conscious control. Don't let it wobble in or out wildly. Fire your glutes to stop your knees from caving in. But don't overdo it, don't overcompensate so that your knee is wobbling all the way out to the side. It's totally okay to practice a little deviation in or out as you get more familiar with this exercise. That'll actually injury proof you because you'll have control when you're in less than perfect situations. Do sets of 8 to 15 repetitions on each side. When you first start, if you can't do eight, that's totally fine. Just work up to it. Do as many as you can until you can't do any more properly. When you can hit 15, see if you can raise the height a little bit. Another way to build leg strength more quickly is to hold onto a weight while you do this exercise. Just make sure that it's a weight that's not so heavy that your form deteriorates. Your body builds strength when it's pushed just a little bit beyond its current abilities. So again, if you find you can do 15 reps on each leg with no problem and you want to make it harder, then you can try doing the exercise holding on to 5 or 10 pounds so that your leg muscles have to work harder. You also want to try to increase the height of your step ups so that you have a bigger range of motion so that your leg muscles are building strength in multiple different angles and positions. The higher you can do a step up under controlled conditions, the better you're gonna do when you're hiking or walking up steep stairs or steep hills. Now to help you build more range of motion in your hips, we're gonna look at the next exercise. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you to HockeyMom46 for her second donation to support the Upright Health channel. This time she gave $5 and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you'd like to support this channel, use that thanks button or the PayPal link down in the description box. Thanks, let's get back to it. This leg strengthening exercise will help you build up the muscles in the back of your leg. Our butt and hamstrings tend to get really weak from our sedentary lives where we sit in our cars and sit in chairs or couches all day long. To start with, you're gonna do this with two legs and work on getting lower and deeper into this hinge. You can change up your stance a little to spice things up and gain mobility in different angles and foot positions. Do sets of five to 15 with control. You're building strength at every length. Make sure as you're doing this exercise, you keep more weight towards the balls of your feet, a little more forward in your feet so that your strength translates into what you do when you're hiking on a trail or walking upstairs. When you can do this with a narrow stance and it feels easy and smooth, then you can also try doing this with one leg with a single leg variation. You're going to elevate the heel on one of your legs and the other leg is just going to act as a stabilizer. The leg that has the heel elevated is going to be doing all the work. You're going to put all your weight into that side and think about using the hamstrings and the butt muscles to control the way down and the way back up. This will have huge benefits for you if you're hiking or walking up and down big hills or going upstairs. You can do these single leg versions, 5 to 15 reps on each side. Use a little bit of weight that you can control. And if you find one side is obviously weaker than the other, then do an extra set on that weaker side. 
This third leg strengthening exercise focuses on your lower leg. Your calf muscles need to be strong in order to stabilize you hiking on trails and going up and down stairs. You're gonna do these calf raises with your knees bent. Find a step or something you can hang your heels off of and do sets of 15 to 30 reps with control and with a full range of motion. You want your heels to drop fully down as far as they can and get a nice good stretch. When you first start these, you may find your ankles are really stiff and your calf muscles are really weak and stiff. So that's okay. Just keep working on it. Do as many as you can without it getting crazy intense. And then just let yourself gradually build the strength to do these calf raises. If you don't have a step available, that's totally fine. Just lean yourself against the wall with your hands against the wall. And you'll find that at the right angle, you can get a very full range of motion. As you get better at this exercise and your calf muscles are getting stronger, you can shift this into single leg work. Do one leg at a time, and if you find that one side is obviously weaker than the other, then do an extra set for that weaker side. The fourth leg strengthening exercise is a wide squat. I highly recommend it, but if you're just starting and you feel like this is too much, then consider this one optional and consider coming back to it when you feel ready. You're going to have your feet placed wide apart with the knees and feet pointing out at an angle and away from each other. You're gonna to try to go as low as you can. This is gonna feel like a big challenge and stretch for the muscles of your inner thigh and posterior thigh. You're also gonna feel fatigue happen around the quads, which are the muscles that connect around the front of your thigh to the knee. The goal here is to get all of these muscles comfortable with going through a full, deep range of motion. You may feel a lot of stretching in the inner thighs and that's okay. Don't push hard through it. Don't try to force yourself lower. Really visualize those muscles and those muscle fibers lengthening out. It's really helpful to hold on to some kind of weight while you do this exercise if you feel comfortable with it. That extra weight helps load those muscles and build strength at that lengthened position. But if you don't feel ready to do that, it's okay. If you feel like your legs are too weak to do this freestanding, hold on to a chair or a wall or something to help you work on the range of motion in a way that feels safe and doable for you. Building this kind of strength and flexibility will be really helpful if you wanna hike and change elevation and step over logs and walk up and down stairs without any problem. With this exercise, I suggest you do sets of five to 10 with long, slow pauses at the bottom and little bits of bouncing to improve your range of motion and control at that deeper bottom position. Now let's talk about programming for these leg strengthening exercises. A simple way to work with all these exercises is to do all of them in the order I just gave them as a circuit. Give yourself rest as you need between sets and between exercises, and then just do them one by one. If you have the energy and the time and the motivation, do the full circuit twice. That would be a full workout. Do the full workout once or twice a week. If you're doing it twice a week, then make sure that you allow at least two days of rest in between the times you do the full workout. So that might be Monday or Thursday, it might be Tuesday or Friday, whatever works for you is okay. What you don't wanna do is Monday, Tuesday. That is not a good idea. As you do this workout consistently, you will find your legs getting stronger and you'll be able to walk upstairs, hike, bike, do whatever you want a whole lot better. Just remember to keep trying to gradually improve in some way. Maybe it's gonna be on the step ups. Maybe this week you're gonna try to make it a little bit higher than last week. Maybe you'll hold a little bit heavier weight. Maybe with the wide squats, you're gonna try to go a little deeper. You wanna keep looking for small bits of improvement somewhere within the workout every single week. And while you're doing all this, if you're missing the ability to go on long hikes and you're thinking maybe I should go on a 20 mile hike or a 30 mile run or whatever, it's important to remember that you want to have good strength and control before you start doing a whole lot of stuff that requires a lot of endurance. Train up good muscle function before you start hammering your muscles with long distance activities. This approach will pay off in the long run. Your legs will be happier, your body will be happier, and ultimately you will be able to go farther because you put in the time to build this foundation and to have stronger legs to carry you forward.
Also remember that form is very important. If you're doing the exercises and you're too tired to do it right and your life doesn't depend on it, it just stop. Now you have the tools you need to build leg strength for something simple and enjoyable like going for a hike or a walk. If you found this video really helpful and you want to support this channel, hit that thanks button and leave me a tip. And I promise I will not use your money to go buy a horse to poop and pee and trample all over your favorite hiking trip. And if you don't want to leave me a tip, that's totally fine. Just click the like button, share this video, subscribe with notifications on, drop me a comment down below and let me know which of these exercises was the toughest for you. I'd like to see it down in the comment section. And as always, I'm Matt Shu from Upright Health reminding you that pain sucks, life shouldn't. Yeah. Last one. Yeah.